All right, hey, Organic Chemistry. Here is another video to help you with draw uh, with naming from drawing organic compounds and drawing from the name of organic compounds. Um, and this is using IU not, IUPAC nomenclature. I now threw in some other functional groups, so don't forget how to name them. So let's do the first one. All right, so I have to try and find my longest chain. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's probably my longest chain. Four, nope. Three, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so seven. Seven is my longest chain. It's all single bonds. So that's going to be heptane. And then I have to identify how I'm going to number this and where my substituents would get the lowest set of numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or I go the other way, and I'll do that with a different color. I could do one, two, three, four, still, five, six, seven, okay? So now, if I were to number it from left to right, I'll have something on the second carbon, something on the third carbon, something on the fourth carbon, and then something on the fifth carbon, All right? So two, three, four, five. If I remember it from right to left, I would have something on the third carbon, something on the fourth carbon, something on the fifth carbon, and something on the sixth carbon. So I'm not going to be numbering it from right to left because I could already see that these are going to be higher numbers. So now I have to identify what's on my... I'm going to go from left to right. On my second carbon, I have a methyl. On my third carbon, I have a methyl. On my fourth carbon, NH2 is, uh, we're going to call that amino. All right, as a substituent, NH2 becomes amino. So on my fourth carbon, I have amino. And then my fifth carbon, I have chloro. So now I have to put this alphabetically, and I have to synthesize this. If I have two methyl groups, we call that dimethyl. This is going to be 2, 3, dimethyl. And then I have 4-amino, 5-chloro. Alphabetically, 4-amino comes before 5-chloro. So 4-amino, 5-chloro, and then 2-3-dimethyl. I could barely put that here. So this compound is 4-amino, 5-chloro, 2-3-dimethylheptane. This can also be called 5-chloro, 2,3-dimethyl heptane amine. All right, where it ends in amine because that means I have an NH2 group in there. You might see it like this. I remember amine is a type of functional group. All right, so now let's do the next one. I'm going to have to find, if I, want to, if I want to figure out how to name this, I have to find the parent chain, which is the longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is definitely my longest chain here. Six carbons, all single bonds. This is going to be hexane. And it looks like I only have two substituents. Either I can number it one, two, three, or I'm sorry, I have three substituents. I can number it one, two, three, three. Four, five, six, or I could do one, two, three, four, four, five. Well, obviously, the best and lowest numbers are going to be this way from left to right. So on the second carbon, I have a methyl. On the third carbon, I have a methyl. On the third carbon, I also have an iodine, which we call iodo. Right? So I have two, three methyl, as we saw on the previous problem. That becomes two, three dimethyl. And then I have three iodo. Remember, Greek prefixes do not come in to play with the alphabets of putting the name of the compound together. So I have I versus M. Iodo goes first. So this becomes 3-iodo and then 2-3-dimethyl hexane. That will be the name of this compound. All right. And then now, finally, for the last half of this, we have to draw. So, it says 2,2-dibromo. Two, two, this means I have two bromines. 
And they're both on the second carbon. Di means two bromo. Di bromo means two bromines. And they're both on the second carbon. That's why it says two, two. And then it says one methyl. On my first carbon, I'm going to have a methyl group. And then it says cyclobutane. Cyclobutane means a ring with four carbons, and they're all single bonds. Because they end in ane. Ane means single bonds. There goes my uh, light again. Ain means single bonds, cyclo means ring, and then bute means four. So I'm going to start by drawing the four-membered ring, and I'm going to number it the way that I want to. All right, so I have cyclobutane, and I'm going to number it one, two, three, four, doesn't matter. On the second carbon, which is this one, I have two bromines, so two, two, dibromo. And then on the first carbon, I have methyl, where I'll put CH3. And then I am done. So I get to number it, and I get to put the substituents where I number my carbons. All right, and then the last one, it says draw 3,4-diethyl-5-fluoronine. Okay, so 3,4-diethyl means I have two ethyl groups. Ethyl groups look like this, or CH2, CH3, CH2, CH3. Diethyl means I have two ethyls, and they're on the third and fourth carbon. On my fifth, fifth carbon, I have a fluorine. And then it says nonine. Now, nonine, known means nine carbons. Ene means that there's a double bond somewhere. Okay? Doesn't matter where you put it, but let's just put it in the beginning. So I'm going to do my nine carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to put the double bond there. Okay, one. And I'm going to number it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I get to number it how I want. On my third and fourth carbon, I have ethyl groups. And then on my fifth carbon, I have a fluorine. Done. All right, so this is another set of practice questions. What I want you to do now is you're going to flip this over and we're going to start from scratch. I want you to try and name this compound that I'm drawing right now. All right, so I want you to name this compound and then you're going to show it to me by the end of class. And then I want you to draw this compound. If I, let's say, I want it to be cyclohexane, but I want it to be 2-bromo, and then 3-3-diethyl cyclohexane. How would you draw that in this space? Okay, so after you get these notes, I want you to name this compound that I just drew, and then... I want you to draw 2-bromo, 3-3-diethyl, cyclohexane. And I'm going to check this before you leave today.